Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I've got three books in front of me by the author Andy Reynolds. I've got Heating with Wood, Timber for Building, and Wind and Solar Electricity. And they're published by an outfit called lowimpact.org, and it's previously known as the Low Impact Living Initiative. You can pick these books up on the internet with a search. Um, I know the author sells them through a large online auction website where you can get a signed copy if you want. But what I would suggest first is to check out the author's YouTube page, which is Andy Reynolds. If you search for Andy Reynolds, I'm sure you'll find his YouTube page. He's posted a huge number of videos around, I guess you'd say low impact living, but general careful living or living that's in tune with with something wholesome, I suppose is what I'd describe it as. Recently, I wanted to put in some solar panels. I live in the middle of a city and I wanted a solar panel system that wasn't on the roof of my house. I wanted to do it myself and I have very limited space. So I set up this arrangement here and in the future I'll put some more up on the wall of my house, but this is where I park my car. So I built a little structure above it just to mount the solar panels and they work. I'm really pleased with that. And right now they're generating electricity even though the sun is at a really crazy low angle, something is trickling in and it's covering the residual in the house. And as the sun picks up, it'll feed in more electricity to my house. And it's wonderful. I had previously read his book, Heating with Wood, just for interest really more than anything. I enjoyed that and I enjoyed the style of writing. His style of writing is quite, uh, not conversational, but easy. It's not technical. It's not a technical style of writing. And so for something like wind and solar electricity, which can dissolve into a highly technical subject so quickly in other books. Uh, this was quite refreshing and pleasant and quite enjoyable to read, I would say. So I'll pick out a few bits. I've saved a few bits here. Um, the first thing I should say is that, uh, and the author Andy says it in the introduction, I think, and throughout, all of the pictures almost are things that he has either done himself or been involved in. There's no theory that the author doesn't understand. It's easy for someone in an academic field to write based on the research of someone else. In this case, the author has gotten up on his roof and put on a load of solar panels or an enormous windmill. Um, we'll go straight to that, I think. So I hope he doesn't mind me reproducing this, but I think in the interest of a review, it's okay on YouTube. The author is there, and that is a sail-powered windmill from many, many years ago, I presume on its own tripod, presumably way up above the ground as it stands, and he's there with all of the requisite safety harnesses and whatnot. The point I'm making here is that he's done it, and if you want experience, uh, this book has experience, and it's boiled down to something that, you know, somebody with a, with a mildly technical outlook or, a, or an ambitious outlook can handle uh, things like pole-mounted frames. I've got a couple of pages set aside here that I'm trying to find that were useful to me, I thought. That's the author's barn and windmill, and then there's solar panels on the roof. This is a simple arrangement that he's devised, and he has YouTube videos about these things as well. I set this page aside because he says, build your own tracker. Well, everything for solar panels is available commercially, and you can spend a lot of money, an awful lot of money, getting someone to do it for you. And you can't watch them, and they don't want to tell you anything about what you've got. And if it breaks, you have to phone them up. And you'll only notice because you're getting less and less electricity. And then where does that leave you? And that's not how I like to run my life. I prefer to know what I'm doing and then to get stuck in. I like to puzzle it out myself. And I will read endlessly and search the internet endlessly until I feel that I'm comfortable with it. And what I found with this book was that, yes, a certain amount of searching is good. But with this book, I was able to just pin it all down. And if I wanted more, I could go looking for more. And the author says it, that it's connected to a YouTube page. How he writes his books is, there's a limited amount. You can only put pictures and words in a book. That's one of the limitations of books. But with the internet now, you can put videos online. And if you're trying to describe something, you know, a picture paints a thousand words and all that, but a video can show you so much more. So the author has links to videos throughout all his books. And if you follow through the links, then you'll wind up with a better appreciation. And you can go down that rabbit hole if you want, and you can come back to the book or you can read the book and then start searching for the bits you want. Going back to the photos here, the author has built these things himself and they work. And he only tells you about them because they work. And he tells you about things that didn't work. He focuses on the things that are helpful. Uh, some about batteries. I've got another page marked aside here. Cable size calculation. So this is something that if you start in textbook, your mind will just get wandered away. In this case, it's boiled down quite simply. It, yes, it's all sums, but they're quite easy to follow. You know, it is technical, but it's presented in a very simple way. He talks about grid tie, power backup systems, and the author also has a battery backup system that he refers to in the book. I didn't want that. That's a, a step. It's a next step. Uh, but here's kind of a, an example of the, the way the language is. So home wiring. So this is where it gets to connecting the system 
of DC or grid tight AC. This could be a thorny problem, but it depends on your attitude. And this is what the book comes down to. It's about massaging your attitude into a can-do attitude and an attitude of self-reliance. There are certain people who would like everyone to be entirely helpless so that they can charge a fortune for all the things that you cannot or are not allowed to do. And the allowed is the, is the word here. And if you think you're not allowed to do something, probably you won't do it. That's human nature. But once you believe you're competent, in theory you are. But with home wiring, your insurance company would not be too pressed if it had not been checked by a registered electrician. So you need to get somebody to check it, but you can do it yourself. Even if you're not thinking of doing it yourself, this book is still particularly useful to have read before you engage with anybody who installs solar panels or offers free solar panels. The author refers to it here, free solar panels, and he basically describes how a company can make money by giving you the panels for free. And in some ways it's somewhat cynical, but it reflects the reality that's out there. But there are certain installers who might just give you a contract that's huge to sign. And the outcome is that based on the contract you've signed, you could wind up with a telephone mast on top of your house. It's unlikely, but you know, it puts you in a position to know what's ahead and would give you a chance to negotiate about that or pick the simplest thing is to just go elsewhere, pick a different supplier. It's a pretty good tool to arm anybody with knowledge. I find it quite pleasant and easy to read. And in the case of the topics, it does really have everything you need to know to get you started as someone who's a novice. That's, that's about the best summary I could give it. Questions or comments, leave them below. Check out Andy Reynolds' YouTube page. Buy the book if you like, if you're interested in any of the topics. They're, they're pleasant to read, that's what I would say. Thanks for watching. See you later.